Ferguson with Canines Unleashed. Today I'm here with Ann Norrid and her dog, Oliver. Today we're going to talk to you about therapy dogs. We get a lot of calls here and we want people to know what it means to have a therapy dog and what it looks like to be a therapy team. It is not the same as going to the Canine Good Citizen Test and so we want to make sure it's very clear that you understand it is a working job. So Ann has her dog Oliver and they're going to talk to us about what it means to do this type of work. Well first, therapy dogs um, in definition are, do are dogs and their owners that go out and make visits and improve the lives of others. Typical places that therapy dog teams visit are hospitals and schools and nursing homes, um, disaster areas. Um, those are kind of the big four. Um, Therapy dogs have been proven to help people both psychologically, cognitively, uh, physically, and socially. Um, they've been proven to reduce stress in people by petting them um, and proven to offer comfort in a variety of situations. Um, and so, what kind of personality or temperament in a dog do you think would thrive in this setting? Well, a lot of that depends on where you plan to visit. Um, Hospitals, obviously, the dog needs a higher level of it, you know, of being able to tolerate stress. People are in distress. Disaster areas are another. A lot of therapy organizations actually have different certification for disaster area um, certification. Um, so I would say you need to have a great temperament on your dog, but it's a lot more than temperament. It's personality. Really, it's important to know the personality of your dog. Um, do not be upset if you, you're going to go do one visit. If that's not it, try somewhere else. Um, nursing homes are, are very different. Disaster areas are very different. So, a lot of people want a therapy dog when they call and they say, I want a therapy dog. Please tell them about your time commitment, volunteering, and what it is to you and your family being with your dog and doing this type of work. Well, again, it depends on your type of visits. Um, college visits, um, tend to be three or four times a year during finals and midterms and freshman week. Um, hospitals can be one or tw one to two times a week. Mm -hmm. um, the elementary schools were once a month, you know, preschools were once a month. Um, I'd say uh, the disaster areas, you're on call. Like, you have to be available when they call you to go and not be home for three or four days. Um, so it's quite the commitment, uh, whatever, you, whatever you do. And whatever organization you use will kind of Help with that and whatever facility you use will ask what they are looking for they may be asking for a dog once a month but if you're a certified therapy dog team you are needing to go out and work so and just so you know there is a point that as a handler and as a team you need to recognize that your dog is, has a retirement age a retirement right. actually stage. they have a, a visitation time yeah. cut off so what I think a lot of first time therapy dog teams don't realize, and I made this mistake, my very first visit with a one year old new, I went to, an, uh, to a preschool and she was meet, she met 167 kids one on one. Anyone? I didn't know. <laughs> so it was way too much time. So you need to know your dog very well. You need to know their change of behaviors or whatever. A 30 minute visit may be all they can do and not an hour visit. So. Um, you learn these through process of elimination and, and going out on these visits. So, And can you tell us about some organizations that people can go to find information if they would like to do this type of work? Sure. Um, three of the largest organizations in the U.S. are Therapy Dogs International, otherwise known as TDI. Um, there's Alliance for Therapy and there is Pet Partners. Um, if you go to the AKC website and search therapy, you'll see a long list of organizations. Um, go to those organizations' websites and they'll give you all the information on testing, whether they uh, require classes, um, and what the exercises are in those tests. Right, you will see some good guidelines there to see what is going to be required in order to seek this type of And the age membership. of the dogs and yeah. stuff. Most, most therapy dogs have to be a year old. Maturity helps. Yeah. Thank you, Ann. Appreciate it. Thank you, Oliver. All right, that's so good. Yeah. Give away. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you in another video on YouTube soon. We want to talk to you today about Therapy Dog International certification. No. <laughs> no. And can you tell us something? I was looking at you and I said, Ann. Hi. Ready? Bye, Oliver. We're done.